Hi boys and girls, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be our last online lesson. I sure do miss you still, and I'm hoping that everything will be back to normal soon, but know that we're thinking about you, and we look forward to hopefully touching base with you soon. Um, hopefully we'll be able to have an awards um, night so we can celebrate all your successes for the year. We sure do miss you, and we're thinking about you. Um, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that we could come online, Lord, that we've had the ability to stay connected with our clubbers, Lord, that, that um, we can hopefully celebrate um, when this is over. We can celebrate our successes this year. Father, thank you for Awana, and thank you for our clubbers and our leaders. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's call Jacob. Hey, Jacob, come on up, buddy. Are you ready for some more worship? Yes. This is our last video with our worship song, so sing them out. Yes. All right, guys.
the gift of God. It is the gift of God. Once upon a mountaintop, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small ocean trickling by on its way to the ocean. Small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below, where busy men and busy women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave the mountaintop at all, she said. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed. The rains came. The sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It's perfect for me. With a swoop of a shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest, thought the first tree. I shall hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of a shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I should sail mount mighty waters, so the says at the second tree. I shall be a strong ship, fit for kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked at her, looked her way. She stood, she stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a soup of his shining axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter shop. But the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work-worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. He was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. 
The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat. Too small and too weak to sail an ocean or even a river, he was taken to a little lake. Every day, he brought in loads of dead, smelly fish. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a young lumber yard. What happened, the once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was stay on that mountaintop and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled at the, as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly, the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. Who is that, boys and girls? It's baby Jesus, isn't it? One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into an old, the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out onto the lake. Soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened. He stood up, stretched out his hand, and said, Peace. The, storms, the storm stopped as quickly as it had begun. And suddenly, the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly, harsh, and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That was better than being the tallest tree in the world. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to pray us out here. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I do. Um, that's kind of a picture of how God uses our lives and how he gives us those hopes and dreams. And sometimes they don't go exactly the way we think, but they're usually better than what we can ever imagine. So let's pray together, boys and girls. Dear Jesus, I just thank you for this day. I just thank you for all the boys and girls that are uh, watching us today. I just thank you that um, we were able to finish up our Awana online board, that we could still stay connected together, even though we couldn't actually be together. I just pray that you continue to watch over each and every family and each and every child that we are used to seeing on Wednesday nights, Lord. I pray that um, you grant them safety and I, that you grant them health and keep their families healthy. I just pray that as we are um, wrapping up another year of Awana, Lord, that you continue to um, show yourself in the lives of all of these um, kiddos, Lord. You have big plans for them, and they're pretty amazing little people. I just thank you for um, allowing us to be part of their year this year, and I can't wait to see them again when we're able to meet together or in the fall. I just pray that um, you continue to work in our lives and that you continue to grow us into the people you would have us to be. We love you so much. Amen. All right, boys and girls, um, hopefully we'll see you soon. Otherwise, we'll see you this fall, okay? Bye-bye.